barrel tasting weekend in Walla Walla, and that means a lot of guests are in town. On Thursday night, Savaya Sellers hosted a very special guest, Chef Stephanie, winner of Bravo TV's Top Chef Season 4. Savaya Sellers brought her in to make a very special dinner for some guests. Um, Rich and I met Stephanie and Jen both at an event in Montana. It was just, you know, good good fortune we did an event called Montana Master Chefs in uh, Greenough, Montana, just outside Missoula. And they bring in chefs from all over the United States for this just, you know, foodie weekend. And Stephanie was there as a, doing a cook-off with a season three runner-up uh, from Top Chef. and. Uh, we just sat next to her at dinner and she's like, God, I'd always wanted to go to Walla Walla because she, she had some Walla Walla wines in a restaurant in, in Chicago, so she was familiar with us out here. And uh, Anita and I said, hmm. It was really cool. They made, a, um, they made a kitchen stadium, so it was almost like Iron Chef. And then the first challenge was myself and there was a husband and wife that divided up. And the husband was my partner and Casey was with the wife. And we had a little friendly cook-off. Um, and then after that, after me and the husband won, um, then Casey and, <laughs> then, um, Casey and I had a cook-off as well with a different set of secret ingredients. I did win both. <laughs> That's what, so next year I get to go back and be the defending champion, which is exciting. Well, actually, I know Anita through our work, and she invited me because she knows I like to cook. She told me about Stephanie coming, and it's like, I, we need some volunteers. And I said, sign me up. It's way cool. Because I love to cook, so. Just do a nice little, like, throw across. Like okay. that. Okay? Cool. So we're just going to go through the menu real quick and then um, go over sort of what the game plan is going to be. First course is going to be, they were just tasting it. It's just an apple marcona almond and apple, apple marcona almond soup with a crab apple salad, a little bit of pickles and fennel and a lemon vinaigrette. So that's going to be first going with the Sauvignon Blanc. It says on the menu, the Viognier, but we decided that it goes better with the Sauvignon Blanc. So you guys, are, that's what you guys have ready yep. for. Okay. So second we're going to do um, scallops. It's going to be served with a little bit of braised pork belly and an apricot sauce. It's just basically dried Turkish apricots that I cooked with a little bit of the braising liquid. Super simple. Um, that's going with the Chardonnay, so that's going to be second. Third course is going to be lamb medallion served over like a warm salad of Brussels sprout leaves. Um, a little bit of lamb sausage, some mushrooms, and some braised pistachios. And that has, do have a sauce on that? Oh, it has a little bit of a cherry sauce underneath it. That goes really nice. The cherry sauce goes nice with the wine. The fourth course is a uh, venison, with a little bit of a sweet onion puree. They're local onions. What were they? I don't know. Oh, they're sweet. sweet. Yeah, they're sweet. They're local local sweet onions. Yeah. A little bit of fingerling potatoes. And it's just a, um, it's a green peppercorn sauce, which goes nice with the wine. Um, dessert is hopefully going to be, um, it's still <laughs> setting up a little bit. It's like a chocolate panna cotta. It's gonna be topped with a little bit of um, a candy crunch with a frozen nougat, served with a little bit of um, chocolate cake. It's 6.15 now. The guests will be eating in about 45 minutes. Everything's ready, so we're good. Chef Stephanie stayed in town the entire weekend to get the full Walla Walla barrel tasting experience. I did hang out Walla Walla today. Um, today we went to lunch at, hold on. Creek Town. Oh yeah, we went to Creek Down for lunch today. It was really good. We got to sit outside for a little bit and have some warm blankets under us with the heaters on next to this little fire, which was cool. Chef Stephanie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Just commenting, I said you didn't show up yesterday. <laughs> We're here now. Sorry, I missed the dinner. Uh, um, it was fun. I heard it was fun. It yeah. was. The soup was particularly amazing. Yeah? Yeah. It's fine. Different people like have a different thing that they like just the best that night, so yeah. which is good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody left anything on their plate. No, I know, but they were saying like Yeah, I served for her that night and I've never seen a plate. I mean it was like they scraped yeah. every single the bowl. Well we're eaters. Plate. We're eaters. Yeah. They're definitely more approachable, with a lighter body, with like food warmer. Oh, yeah. These are meant to complement the food. Yeah. 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 Meat winders, classic Washington State big ones that, you know, give me some steak tart. Yeah. It's I'm like, I'm just home, and you're like, I woke up the other morning and I had done that with some wine that I got. 
And I was on my Napa trip, and I woke up the next morning and looked over and saw it cracked open with like this much out of it. I was like, oh, no, you're such an idiot. <laughs> I can totally envision you, though, coming home and being like, this is a great idea. And the next morning, you're like, oh. We were a lot of still 100% delicious. Yeah. <laughs> what is the variety on that? Oh, that's 100% delicious. What is that? It's like coffee or something. So the weekend so far has been awesome, uh, but definitely a little tiring. I kind of feel like I'm on one of those trips to Vegas, where by the third day you're sort of struggling a little bit, and three days is enough. But. Um, Nothing wrong with drinking a lot of wine and eating some great cheese and salumi, so I'm feeling good now that I had a couple sips of wine. Um, the rest of the day we're just going to try to hit a bunch of wineries, buy some more wine, um, and then dinner again tonight. And then we're thinking of moving here, so we're going to buy some real estate. <laughs> no, I think everybody that comes out here for this is probably like, wait a minute, um, it seems to be growing exponentially, so. It will be interesting to see what happens with the growth in Walla Walla as barrel tasting weekends continue year in and year out. But as Chef Stephanie can attest to, what happens in Walla Walla stays in Walla Walla. Story ideas? Email Jeremy Gonzalez at www.ub.com.